everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time if you have never seen any of my videos before. Today I am doing a holiday essentials video because I've just got back from Ibiza after a couple of days R&R, &R, believe it or not, even though I was on the party island and there were just a few things that I thought I really couldn't live without when I was going on holiday and I thought I would share them with you. There are quite a few things, I apologise for that, but hopefully I'll be able to whiz through them fairly quickly. I am going to go through in some sort of order, so I'm going to start with what you should be doing before you go away. So the first thing that I was doing was I was using this Fox Tan product. This I saw advertised on Instagram, I'm always a little bit wary about sponsored links and stuff, but I love being tanned and anything that can make me more tanned, I was up for it. And basically what it is, is it's a combination of two products. One product, which is this cream that you're supposed to use a week before you go, and it's supposed to enhance the melanin in your skin which makes you tan better. I have to say I didn't use it for the full week before I went because it only arrived a couple of days before I left so I haven't got the full benefit of how you're supposed to use it but I thought it was really good actually. I tan quite well anyway so I can't speak for people who really don't tan very easily or are really pale but I came back with a pretty good tan after two days so I didn't knock it use this for a week before and then once you go in the sun or just before you go in the sun you use the spray to really enhance your melanin levels as I understand it and I thought it worked really really well it comes from Australia but it's not super expensive I think it's $30 or something for the two products and then you pay about $10 for the charge I'll link it in the description as I will with everything that I can so don't worry about finding it or anything like that uh, I will just make a disclaimer and say this is not in any way an ad video or sponsored video. I'm not being paid to say anything about any of these products in particular. These are just the ones that I really like. So that's Fox Tan. I'm a, I'm a fan and I would recommend it if you are interested in enhancing your tan or perhaps you're only going for a couple of days and you want to get the most out of it. So that's those two. The other thing that I used before I went is this Skinny Tan. I use it all the time. I've used all their products and I really rate all of them. But this is the Tan and Tone Oil. Hopefully you can see it there. And it just gives you a really nice colour. Again, I have quite naturally tanned skin anyway, so I don't need loads of tan enhancement. But if you don't want to go away looking super pale on your first day, then use this with a tanning mitt a couple of days before and it really makes your skin look moisturised, tanned and toned. So I used that for a couple of days before I went and then I went on to the Fox Tan. Okay, now I'm going to move on to face products. This I saw advertised, it was on offer in Boots. This is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Aloe Water. I don't like using moisturiser on my face. My skin specialist, Dr Oliver, who I'll also link below, doesn't believe in moisturiser because she says it's bad for your skin. In terms of the fact that it seals in a lot of the oils in your skin, which you don't want it to do, you want to naturally exfoliate all those skin layers so that you don't have any oil build up on your skin and also it helps with anti-aging because you don't have all of those layers of skin building up all the time. You want it to breathe, you want it to exfoliate. So I wanted to use something that wasn't a moisturiser but was going to keep my skin really well hydrated whilst I was there. And it's got aloe vera in it, which is always good if you're exposing your skin to high amounts of sun. So I really like this, I use it in the morning, I use it after I go out of the shower and before I went to bed at night and it's just a really nice texture, it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel heavy and it just made my skin feel really moisturised even after I've been out in the sun. So I'm a fan of this, you can get it in Boots or I presume any other main drugstore if you want to pick it up. L'Oreal Hydra Genius Aloe Water, that's my next one. Other trusty fail safe product, micellar water. This isn't just for holidays, I use it all the time because it's completely alcohol free, perfume free, all of that, and it just has nothing bad in it. So I use it just before I go to bed at night after I've washed my face to make sure all traces of makeups and creams are removed, and I use it after I get out of the shower as well, just for the same reason. So I really like that, use it all the time, not just on holiday. Other face products, this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I don't use foundation when I'm on holiday because I try to get a bit of a face tan, even though you're not supposed to because it's really bad for your skin. I know this goes against everything that I've been told by every skin specialist ever, but I just really like having a nice glow to my face when I come back, so I don't need to use foundation because generally it's the wrong colour for me when I'm on holiday anyway, and I find it too heavy, and I want my natural tan to show through on my skin. 
This is in the colour Golden Radiance and this is not the oil free one. There is an oil free one which undoubtedly is better for your skin but it doesn't come in the glowy colours and the texture is slightly different so you don't get that shimmer with the oil free ones but they would be good for a day to day tinted moisturiser. I think this is obviously highly skin tone dependent and this Golden Radiance is the perfect colour for my skin when I've got a bit of a tan and it also takes out a bit of the redness as well if you've got a little bit burnt by accident, which I sometimes do. So I use that instead of a foundation as a base for my makeup. Um, the next thing for my face is this MAC Global Glow Mineralizer Skin Finish. Again, it's a little bit too dark for me when I don't have a tan, but when I have a tan, it's perfect. It's shimmery and it also gives your skin a really even tone which is not a usual trait for a bronzer and that is why I really rate this one. I just put a little bit over the top of my forehead and a little bit over the tops of my cheeks just where your skin naturally catches the sun to give it a little bit more of a glow. I don't use it for contouring because it's shimmery and that's not really going to work so I use something else for contouring but that one is a really good holiday colour when you want a bit of glow to your face so that is my next favourite. Other makeup that I couldn't live without, my Too Faced Peach Palette. I absolutely love this. I use it even when I'm at home, but especially when I'm away, I get a very peachy glow to my skin. My skin's quite orangey, really, when, it, when it's tanned, and that just really, really highlights it, and it looks lovely on your eyes. I'm sure you've seen this before, but it's just a really, really nice palette. Big range of colors, loads of peaches, neutrals, shimmery colors, good one but also some darker tones for doing sort of nighttime smoky eye looks. So that is one of my favourites. I will do a makeup tutorial on this if you want me to. Just let me know in the comments. Oh, just undressing on the video. Don't get excited. But this has been my all-time favourite palette, but it has recently been superseded by my next all-time favourite palette, which is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes palette. I love this, this is amazing. <laughs> I waited and waited online to buy it as soon as it came out, and I think they're all sold out now unfortunately, but I managed to get one which I was really pleased about. This just has everything that you could possibly need in it. Huge range of colours, mattes, neutrals, oranges, peaches, pinks, browns, blues, purples, turquoises. This section here I really like and it's really good for holiday because I have blue eyes and I really like to highlight that, especially when I've got a bit of a tan. So I love the blues and the purples, but the peaches and the pinks are perfect as well for the daytime look. Again, if you want me to do a makeup tutorial, I will. So you can look forward to that. And if you can get your hands on one, we thoroughly recommend doing that because it just is everything you will ever need in a palette. I love it. Other makeup. This is the Jouer Cosmetics Lip Cream. This is in Pamplemousse, but there is another one in Papai, which I really love. It's a lip cream, it's a shimmer cream, so it doesn't give you a matte finish, it gives you a shimmer finish. I sometimes wear just a nude lipstick underneath it to give me a bit of a base, because it's not the thickest base ever, but it's a lovely sheen on top of your base colour, and it's just really summery, makes you look really glowy, especially if you've got really glowy makeup, it just makes you look like some kind of golden goddess, and it's perfect for holiday. I love it. That's another one. Um, I think that is it for my favourite makeup. One thing that I don't have because I can't find it for the life of me is the Tom Ford Shimmer Oil, which I absolutely love. It's gorgeous, it smells lovely, it's not the cheapest. I am going to link it below anyway because it's a perfume and a shimmer oil really and it just gives your skin a really natural shimmer. It's not too much, you don't notice that you've got it on, people won't look at you and go, oh, what's that glitter on your skin? It just looks like a really natural glow, particularly if you've got a bit of a tan underneath it, and it makes your skin feel really lovely and moisturised as well. So it is a little bit more expensive, but it just makes you feel so nice when you've got it on. So if you can get your hands on it and you can afford it, do so. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? This, Cheap as Chips, Sold Tan, Moisturising After Sun with Tan Prolonger. I put this on every evening after I got in from the sun, after I'd got out of the shower, and it's so moisturising, it just makes your skin feel really moisturised, really healthy, and it does prolong your tan as well, so it deepens your tan and keeps it going for as long as possible. That's what I use while I'm there. When I get back, 
I change to this one, which is the Umbra Solaire After Sun. Again, hydrating tan maintainer, which intensifies your tan. If I start using this as soon as I get back from holiday whilst I've still got a tan, this seems to prolong it for weeks and weeks and weeks. I use this all year round, in fact. I start using it as soon as I get back from holiday and I just carry on because somehow it seems to maintain my tan for absolutely ages. So if you want a really good hydrating tan maintainer that makes your skin feel really supple as well, then that is my favourite go-to. Let's talk about hair. Hair. What, my hair tends to go really frizzy, especially when I'm abroad and it's a bit humid, but this hair treatment is Palmer's Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. It's about two quid and you get about three uses out of it and I use loads, so I still get three uses even when I use loads of it. And I just find it really, really good for taming flyaways. If you've got really, really unruly hair, I think it's a really good way of keeping it from going a bit wild. If you want to straighten it or you want to curl it and then you want to go on a night out when it's humid, use this and it will really tame it, but it's not heavy, it's not oily, and you still get loads of light volume in your roots. It just seems to tame the ends really well. So use that, and then when you actually go out, so once your hair's dry, I then use this liquid umbrella from Lee Stafford dehumidifier again it just stops the humidity from getting to your hair so whether it's straight or whether it's curly it just stops that massive fluffy appearance that I tend to get whenever I go out in humid air so I'd recommend that one as well it's travel size too so if you need to fit it in your hand luggage only that's a really good way of doing that and that is about it so it didn't take as long as I thought those are my favourite things for holiday at the moment. They tend to change quite regularly, so I'm sure I'll do another one whenever I next go on holiday. But those are my favourites for now, and I hope you got some benefit from this video and will enjoy using some of these products in the future. As usual, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're interested, if you're not interested, and why, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me. Thanks very much, guys.